Taft-Hartley, as uh, it's referred to with the theatrical contracts, is about membership and the professional status of the performers. Uh, Taft-Hartley is, the, the union requires for preference of employment that the producer hire union members or someone who qualifies as a professional motion picture performer or a broadcaster. And so uh, the producer, of course, has the right to employ anyone he wants. As an employer in the United States of America, he can employ anyone in any function. Uh, but if he hires someone who doesn't meet the standards of being a professional motion picture performer, for instance, then there are damages to the union or to the membership at large. And so a, a, a fee of damages can be imposed by the union unless that hire can be justified. And this, there are various ways that you can justify it. Uh, the, the most common being, if this were a younger performer or a performer who was training to be a professional and had uh, a resume of work they'd done in preparation for that career, and perhaps they even had an agent that would have a headshot, and it was their first hire under a sag after contract, then that would be justification for that hire, and there would be no f fees assessed to the producer uh, uh, to be paid to the union in that case. And in terms of a number or how many times that could happen, it's just however many times it comes up. There, are, There's paperwork to be that's involved if... Uh, all of your cast members will be checked through the membership department and uh, this will help you as a producer understand who is in the union and who isn't and then you'll have the opportunity to justify those hires uh, or change your mind about who you're going to hire in that case.